Hey, John Park here, and I want to show a quick demo of how you can record CV and gate onto the black box as samples, and then use those uh, from the black box to drive things on your modular, or who knows what else you might want to use some CV and gate uh, WAV files for, because that's what it'll do. It'll record them onto your SD card. So uh, this is the workflow for how you do this. Okay, so you can see here on the black box, I've got uh, some empty cells here, empty pads I can record into. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to one of those empty cells and go into the info page, and then I'm gonna patch up uh, some CV coming off of a module on my modular. This is a shades, mutable instrument, and it'll put out uh, plus or minus five volts when you twiddle the knobs, if nothing's patched into it. And then on the back of the black box here, I'm gonna bring this into the in, and I'm using a uh, mono patch cable here. You could do fancy stuff with a stereo cable if you wanted uh, that splits out to two modules, grab gate and CV at the same time, for example, into the left and right channels. Um, okay, so, now, what I'm gonna do is, with that um, plugged in, if I turn the knob on that module, I can see what my gain is gonna look like. So I'm gonna back off a little, so at the peak I'm not going all the way to zero dB there. And right now, that's set to uh, positive only. I can also flip this switch and do positive and negative. Uh, let's just do positive for now. It's simple and straightforward. So I'll set that uh, to something pretty low. Um, let's see, everything else I'm going to leave. I don't need a, um, a length to this. I'm just going to twiddle the knob a bit. So let's just go ahead and hit record. And then you're not going to hear anything. But we are going to get a CV signal that's recorded. So I'll hit record to stop that. Uh, if we look at the waveform for this, it's a little deceptive because this is a DC coupled waveform. It's actually going positive uh, and negative in this case, is it? It might be going down to zero, but this shows it as if it's an AC like audio. Um, so I can play that and I'm not, I don't have any audio output coming from this. We won't hear anything and you wouldn't anyway because it's just CV, it's not audio rate. Um, but now what we can do is I'm going to now patch the output, so we can flip this around for a second, oh. uh, and the, I'll just go from audio one out, and you'll notice when I recorded, I recorded that into the left uh, channel, so this will work using this mono cable. And now I'll output to an oscilloscope on my modular. If I play, you'll now see that's the signal going, yeah, so it's just positive, right? It's, it's going up to uh, probably up to five volts and then dropping down, I don't have the grid turned on on here. Um, and when I hit play again, you'll see that. Okay, so now if we wanna hear that, actually do something, um, what I've got right now playing on here is just this, uh, chord coming from a music thing modular chord organ. So what I'll do is patch uh, the buffered output from the oscilloscope into the about uh, root uh, note of the chord organ. So that's expecting control voltage. And now when I hit play, There we go. Um, and now that can also, turn this down for a second, that can be uh, trimmed and sliced up and you can sequence it and do fun things with it. Uh, I think I should be able to play that in different pitches too. So that acts as an offset. Um, stop that. That acts as an offset on our uh, CV. If you watch up here, actually, I'll turn, yeah, leave that on. So watch the uh, scope. 
You can see that height it's going to. And now if I play a higher note. And since this is in sample mode, it's also playing it back faster. So if we head to uh, info on here and change this to a clip. And now it's going to time stretch it. Some of these are higher than it wants to. Play. Whoops. No, that's right. Drop it lower. Even lower. All right. Stop that. So hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, what buttons to hit um, specifically to get CV recorded onto there. Now it's just a WAV file. Uh, the WAV file can hold DC coupled voltages just as well as it can uh, hold your uh, audio, AC coupled audio. Um, gate works the same way. If you run a gate in there, you're just gonna see a little pulsing trigger wave and uh, then you can use it for whatever you like and sequence it out of the black box back into your analog gear. Have fun.